Michelle Gemarino when she was 16 years of age, taking buses from Laredo, Texas to follow her dream. She became the youngest Diamonds champion in history. And tonight, Kirby Carry On, she tries to go for it again. She is going to be one of the most important stars in the history of this company or any. The very first Ring of Honor World Women's Champion, Roxy, takes on Rachel Rose tonight. Considered a very, very elite list of a short list of women, I should say, that can call themselves two time women's champion. And if she managed to beat Thorn the Queen here tonight. The fans love her. The road. And we're excited for the performance she's going to put on this evening. And her opponent. She is the reality of wrestling Diamonds Division champion from the throne room. Oh, now, Kobe, carry on. I'm not going to ask you again. You better bend the knee. You better bend the knee for Rachel Rose, the Queen of House Rose, the Diamonds Division Champion. She has been having an incredible reign, holding that championship ever since the Summer of Champions. And you're right, she's starting to make a believer out of me. She has been the champion. She's been taking on all comers. I have to bend the knee at this time, Brad. You, you absolutely have to, and especially to go one-on-one -on -one with Roxy, somebody who has a championship pedigree. And we know they don't call her the prodigy for no reason. But back to Rachel Rose. You said she's had the championship since the Summer of Champions. That's 100% fact. What do you think that that's done for her confidence? It has skyrocketed. Before she walked, she walked the swagger of being a champion, but now that she is the champion, it has skyrocketed since. Absolutely, you see. This is going to be a very, very interesting contest here, Brad. The, I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see the experience of Rachel Rose. This is the first time that they have faced off with this kind of caliber here inside the World Gym Arena. We've seen them face off in Dayton before, but this is the first time since the Summer Champions that they've locked up one-on-one -on -one here in the World Gym Arena. Well, here we go. Bring it back, though. But, oh, I think she was going for the cartwheel. But Rachel was like, oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Roxy bridges out of it. No way there. No one, two, kick out. And now the legs is there to the midsection. That right there compresses your lungs. And you're, it's getting so hard to breathe for Roxy right now. This is going to take a lot of, out of her. She needs to get out of this immediately. Oh, goes through. Got her one. Neither woman wants to make a mistake here, Brad. They, they know that whoever is the one that makes the first mistake. Oh, roll up here. One, two. Whoever is the first one to slip up, they know each other so well that they know that it could be all over. Oh, another roll up here. Two. This is Roxy. Oh, here we go. The cross face. The cross face. It's so close. Oh, but Rachel Rose able to grab the rope there. The champion creating a little bit of distance. Using the champion knowing that she can use her surroundings to her advantage. Oh. Oh, or drop toll hold there, but Roxy ain't gonna find a way out of it. Oh, look at that, the disrespect from the champion. For a head scissor, can Roxy hit it a head scissor takeover? Roger Marina firmly behind Roxy here tonight, Brad. Oh, and it's just so incredible. Wow, look at that. The age of 20 years old. How much Roxy controls that ring like a 30 year veteran. Up on the top, oh, oh, that was a nasty fall there. That was a scary fall to the Prodigy. Hitting her, hitting her face on that top rope, down hitting the apron, and now these two on the outside. Oh! Well, the Queen of House was in full control here, Brad. This is her environment that she loves. She gets to control the pace. She gets to disrespect her opponent. And then oh, she gets to chop like that. Chop to the chest from champion to challenger. Now just pulling her by the hair here on the outside. Ooh. Rachel Rose throws Roxy back inside the ring. Look at that, not even going onto the attack, just taking her sweet time. She knows she's controlling the pace. And now just using those legs again, just to choke out Roxy, using the environment to her advantage at every turn. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. You're watching the reality of Vicious forearms. Very vicious forearms for the champion. And now Rachel Rose looking to stay in the driver's seat. Roxy with a reversal. Oh, it gets Here it go. Cross Here face. Go. Has her in the cross face. In the center of the ring. Has the oh, oh, oh man, Rachel Rose so crafty with that. Rachel Rose just driving those elbows. I'm sorry, the shoulders right into the midsection of Roxy. Right into the midsection. And the prodigy is wearing the wounds of battle right now. And now, snap their takeover. Holding on. Oh. Oh. 
big shot to the middle of the spine and another one to follow it up. Number one, two. Kick out there from the prodigy, Rachel Rose, showing that vicious mean streak like only she can. And it's like confidence that she's built up as her time as champion as the world dream is starting to come alive right now. Cheering for Roxy. That kick to the bit section once again. Now the champion rolls to the other side of the ring here. Lifts up and there's that knee strike there to the corner. Very, very confident there is Rachel Rose. Now hesitation drop kick in the corner. Rachel Rose going into the cover here. Number one, two. Kick out of two. This match will continue. Now this is the part where Rachel Rose needs to start digging deep into her well. Digging deep into the playbook. What else can I do here? What else have I learned since our last encounter with Roxy that she hasn't seen, that she doesn't know? She's starting to pull back on that arm here, that right arm. Possibly trying to take that shoulder out of the socket here, Brown. Look at that. And now, has her an abdominal stretch. Abdominal stretch right there. The champion to the challenger. That was a beautiful transition there. I've actually never seen it come up from the ground. And that just goes to show that Rachel Rose has an altered game, but so has Roxy. Uh oh. And a reversal there from the champion. I mean, from the challenger on the champion. Rachel Rose in an unenviable position. Able to find out of it, fight out of it, should I say, both these women laying it all out on the line for one thing and one thing only. A win which would then declare them the Diamonds Division Champion. Roxy, Rachel Rose, laying it all out in our main event. Oh, did you hear that, Brad? Is that all you got? Oh my goodness. The defiance from the prodigy. As she's just firing up now, Rachel Rose barely able to keep standing, but Roxy keeps fighting back. Russian leg sweep here, but Rachel Rose rolls through, the champion goes for a wild kick that misses, here we go Cooper, one, two, oh another one here from Rachel Rose this time, one, two, but kick out, oh, that super kick connects, but Roxy again with a fire back with a knee to the face, huge knee to the face, a momentum shifter right there, now Roxy, Rachel Rose, both women, laid out in the middle of the ring, whoever gets to a vertical base, to a count of three. Both there, but she falls right back down. The damage that has been done to both is just incredible. And it goes to show why they are both here as champion and challenger. Look at this, using each other to get back to vertical base. Oh. Second one gets caught in a game, firing back is Roxy. Oh, oh, she got caught by the back elbow. And now, here we go! Oh! Blue Flash Prince from Roxy! Roxy, uppercut in the corner! Meets Rachel Rose in the center of the ring, here we go! Holding oh, around! There you go. Oh, Roxy! Oh. Oh. Leg sweep! Big Russian leg sweep cover! One, two, can we have a new champion? No! We do not have a new champion, but Roxy! Oh. Oh, look at that, inverted, cover one, two. Haven't seen that before from the Prodigy. Aye. Rachel Rose has been injured throughout the night here after those vicious shoulder thrusts into the corner. Looking for a big fall away slam, baby. Oh no, Roxy able to counter again. Has, has control of that left arm. Rachel Rose stopping the momentum. Oh, spear, spear. Spear for the champion, cover one, two, and a kick out. You can see the desperation starting to build in the champion, the frustration starting to build in Rachel Rose. Abuse and punishment, and she's not gonna stand for it. And she gets snapped up now by Rachel Rose. And has her with the crossface. She has her with the crossface. Sitting in the ring. Roxy pulling back. She is pulling back on the chin. Cover. One, two, and right back into it. Ooh. Rachel Rose thought she had a reversal. Roxy right back 
locked into that cross face. Could this be all for the champion? Rachel Rose trying to her best to hold on. Slowly starting to move her way there to the rope. Roxy covering in one. Oh no, Rachel Rose now finds herself on top of Roxy. Yeah.